probably the worst thing. you can do with your grandchild if you want to keep them from thinking that you're senile is to question the things that you say and I realize this is part of what we do here I question the things that I say it may look like I'm saying something, but I'm questioning it. And uh, what I allow for you to do in that instance is to question me. And what I realize by doing this, this is why grandfathers look senile. I don't want to put anything out to you. That is false. You can call it false because it's my idea. But my ideas, I, I do a pretty good job at making sure that it's all tight and covered. This is what it looks like to become senile as an old man. Every child thinks they know what's coming. And if you stand direct against them and tell them that all their possibilities are not quite possible, then they look at you like you're an old fuddy-duddy. So what do you do? Do you keep questioning yourself and allowing others to question you so that they can possibly question themselves, which may be the parts that's missing in the end? Or do you just act like you know everything? Because when you look the shit up after questioning yourself, you're correct. Why even bother looking it up anymore, right? So do you just go into old age and elderly wisdom by acting like you know everything even though you're not sure? Sure, it is an emotive quality. It just says that you think it's something, so you want to hold on to it tooth and nail versus knowledge, which just knows it. Do you want to be the person that steps in front of your grandkid and just stands over him all day saying, I know it? Or do you want to be the person that allows them to question the questions you have? Act natural. Nobody's looking. <laughs>